The Niners signed John Feliciano today. Yeah. This guy was a, he was a starting center for the Giants last year. The three years before that, he was a starting guard for the Bills. He's a vet. What do you think of it? One year deal. What do you think? Well, I first of all, I've loved this player a long time. I, I think this guy's a, a, one of my favorite players um, going way back. I mean, I liked him at Miami. Um, I don't know if you know this this kid's story, but his story was incredible. I mean, this mom sadly battled breast cancer throughout all of his high school years. His home, his family home was condemned. He had to go from house to house. Um, it was just incredible. And then he goes to Miami um, and he plays there for five years and fights his way to the NFL without being the greatest athlete. But this guy's just tough. And is, you know, um, he, he's a good pass protector. You can play him at center. You can play him at right guard. I, I just think it's quality veteran depth um, with, you know, the, the trait that I think is the most important in the offensive line is just pure toughness. And that's what this guy has. He's a tough, you know, tough old Italian guy who will fight you in a phone booth. And he was a really good pass protector this last year for the Giants at center. Um, he played good years with the Raiders, good years with Buffalo. I like it. It gives them protection against Brendel in, an injury, uh, protection at both guard spots. You know, you can't – this isn't the answer at tackle, but, right. yeah, I really like this ad addition. I don't know what they paid for him, but Feliciano's a good, tough veteran who will fight. And <clears throat> if Brendel or Burford wind up starting over him, they will be better for it because he's going to compete with them. Yeah, it seems so. Do you think that this most likely is a Daniel Brunskill replacement? Brunskill signed a two year deal with the Titans, he's younger. I would think that Feliciano is cheaper on a one year deal, but he has a lot of starting experience too. Is, is, this, is this sort of a one for one? I think, yeah, but I mean, Feliciano's quite a bit better than Brunskill. Okay, I mean, Brunskill, okay, Brunskill's, um, you know, good, good pass, pass protector, but didn't give you hardly any movement. In the That's never true. gave you much pop in the run game. This guy's no. more of a run game. This guy, yeah. this guy's bigger. He's three twenty five. He's more physical, and he's more of a road grader. I, I like the, this. Helps their run game up the middle quite a bit. Well, let me ask you this: Is it possible that he'll start at right guard and Spencer Burford will move out to right tackle? I think that may be asking a lot of Spencer Burford, but I think that okay. it's very likely. Yeah that Feliciano might become the Brunskill who shares time with Burford right. at right guard. Yeah. Right. Because they, they need to figure out a way to, to not figure out, but they need to be able to run to the right. Last year, I think they ran left more frequently than any team in the league. And I, you can't be a dominant run team if everyone knows which way you're going. So if he could come in and help that run game to the right, that would be great. He, it's not going to be uh, McKivitz. I mean, he, he was top 10 ESPN pass block win rate. Um, among centers, which is a little surprising because I think of him more as a strong run blocker, but he had a 95% win rate as a pass protector at center. Um, but yeah, he's, I think he's, he's broader that he's a lot wider than, uh, than Brunskill. Brunskill is maybe one of the smartest offensive linemen I think I've ever talked to. I mean, he's just, I was shocked when I interviewed him, how smart he was and how detailed he was, but Feliciano is definitely going to be a better run plugger much more physical offensive lineman. Yeah, I can't see the Niners benching Spencer Burford if they look at him as their future at right guard for a one-year, for a vet on a one-year deal. So I kind of see this as Daniel Brunskill replacement. But as you you look at it as a Daniel Brunskill skill improvement. So that's... Oh, I think it's definitely an upgrade. I'd be... I and, You know, Brunskill was good for what they needed him for, and he's a technician. And But, I mean, Feliciano, wait till you... I mean, Feliciano's a much he's wider big. guy. Yeah, um, he's going to be harder to get around, and I think he's. And the stronger. Niners need some large offensive linemen. They got to block Jordan Davis this year. It's a big D lineman in the league. They got to in the NFC among yeah. the yeah contenders. So, and if you Jones. lose Brendel to an injury, at least you got a three hundred and twenty five pound veteran who's done it before, and not just well maybe Zakel, maybe Poe. You know, right? So I think they're. See, I, I think it's a good move. It seems like Kyle Shanahan would rather not have a rookie center. Seems like that's kind of a position he wants a vet who preferably knows his system. Yeah. You don't, I mean, yeah. it's, it's just, it's a, it's a cerebral position. You're yeah. making a lot of the line calls and, you know, you're sliding protections and, 
you know, you don't want to take a chance with somebody who you don't, you know, that's, that's still learning the craft. So I think that's, that's, that's the area where if they're going to air with a veteran over a rookie, they do. Ace Nong 29 says, thank you for keeping us sane, waiting for the season to start amazing content. Oh yeah. This is when the real pros make their, make their hay right here. The off that's season. Right. It's not that's easy. Right. Uh, Burford and McKivitz sharing right tackle Feliciano at right guard. Possible. The way you describe Feliciano makes me feel like don't count him out as a potential starter. They could use a a good right, a good big run blocking right guard. I don't I mean, think that's going to be Burford. Yeah, I mean, is Burford's quick foot quickness enough to play him at right tackle? <clears throat> I don't know, but I'll say this: I'd like to know now. Now you got an option. Now you got Feliciano yeah. who could play right guard. And you could move Burford out to maybe the answer is that Ciano gives you another body and that Burford, McKivitz, Jalen Moore, you know, Zakel, maybe they're all in the running for that right side of the offensive line in different spots. You've seen Burford in person. Yeah. I mean, you're in the locker room. To me, he looks like a tackle. He's got length. He's six five. He 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 looks like he I don't know if he could. He played. T- he looks like a tackle to me. So I don't know. Right tackle. He he's probably a better athlete than McGlinchey. I'd like to see what it looks like. And you and you know the thing about Spencer Burford, he's like this really conscientious hard worker. So if they said to him, "Hey, you know, get get on the jump rope, get your foot quickness. This is what we 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 think we see you as a ten year starter at offensive tackle." You know, he's the kind of guy that would diligently do the work. I really believe, and and maybe show up a little bit. A little bit quicker, a little leaner, because he's going to take a little bit more quickness to defend yeah. the the Hassan Reddicks of the world. And it, it, you know, maybe when they drafted him, they drafted him with the vision that you know he could be a right tackle for us when McGlinchey leaves. And instead of just redshirting him for redshirting him for a year, let's get him on the field. Let's play him at right guard. We can slide him over. I have no idea, but I just feel like he's a better athlete than McKivitz, better athlete than McGlinchey. Kind of built like a tackle, played tackle. I don't know. Crazier things have worked, but we'll see. Yeah. I don't know. It's a good um, prospect either way. I mean, he's either, either way. you know, um, you know, I mean, he's, he's, a, he's a phenomenal prospect. I mean, and, and in college, he was a three-year starter, mm-hmm. um, but he, you know, he was also considered kind of a poor outside pass protector. So that's why they moved him to guard. So I, I'll say this. I love uh, Burford. He's, he's got a nasty demeanor. He's physical. He's got really strong hands, so, you know, maybe he can get quicker. 